The idea was that you're showing a guy who is frustrated that he can't do more and that his instinct is to um, confront crime and to intervene on behalf of, of protecting, you know, the citizenry. And he's in this job where he can barely help people through forms and... and, and the red tape uh, red of this tape. industry. Yeah. Right. So the idea was to do something physical, have him see trouble almost, you know, that the cops can't handle, handle it, and then just be going, hey, we're all one part of the team and having the cops not see it that way. And like, get back in your car, sir. I'm just here to help. I don't mean to. Return to your vehicle, sir. And him actually getting angry at the cops for not being grateful that he's helped them. I think that it was a good scene, but I also think that we had other scenes that were doing that job. Right. And it's, it's one of those things that you do in an early draft. Right. That you realize that you have other, you, you're carrying that weight in other places. Right. Hey, hey, hey! What's your hurry, pal? My little mother. You may be able to shake the cops, but... Evening, officers. I found this piece of... Police business, sir. Please return to your vehicle. Hey, I'm just here to help. I don't mean return to... Return to your vehicle, sir. Now. Hey, listen, buddy. Is there a problem here, Ken? Sir? The traffic's moving again, yeah. pal! Get exactly back here. in your car and drive, idiot! No. Helen is suspicious that Bob, their marriage, infidelity, comes together in this one yeah. scene. Some people always felt that it w could work. Other people felt like, what the heck is this doing in a Pixar movie? And I felt like there was a tasteful way to, to handle it so that uh, it would be apparent to people who uh, uh, were older and not necessarily apparent to younger kids and I think that even if you're doing a fantasy you should try to bring in some some things about real life you know and it's um, not only um, good dramatically or you know but it's kind of funny you know <laughs> it's funny that we are fragile creatures and and we screw up and and um, we are insecure and to have superheroes that are uh, have these amazing abilities and yet have the same insecurities of, uh, uh, that all of us do is interesting to me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it was a little more direct than it is now. And, uh, it, it, you know, it had some lines that I'm sorry that we don't have. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, 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 I think the version that we have now is, 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 is the best version. Hey. Hey, you. Too loud? What's up, good looking? Your suit was gone. Your Mr. Incredible suit? When you were on your trip, I vacuumed in here. I had it cleaned. What, is there a problem? <laughs> oh, yes. There is a problem, Bob. There's a problem on so many levels. What? One, that you would take out your Mr. Incredible suit when we were supposed to be in hiding. No one suspected. I said it was for a costume And part. two, that you actually want me to believe that right before your business trip you suddenly needed your Wait super suit clean? Wait a minute. Are you telling me I gotta start defending my laundry? No, I'm saying I do it. The laundry is one of the Wait many services I provide. If you had to have when your suit clean... When did you start loving laundry? I do the laundry around here! Did I miss something? What's this? Looks like a hair. Whose hair? I don't know. Cleaners? It's blonde. It's white. It's platinum blonde. It's white old lady hair. The cleaners! This is not old hair! Why don't you ask what you want to ask? Are you having 
An affair? Yeah, me and the old lady. One look at her laundry and I had to have her. Are you nuts? <sighs> I was feeling good about things for a change. Successful. I just... I wanted to get the suit cleaned. Do you have to... I'm sorry. Can't you just... Forget it.